What is up, bros and broets? I'm Ming Slasher, and today we are going to be talking about a secret. A secret in Call of Duty that has been there since almost the very beginning that many of you may not know. And it's the secret behind the teddy bear Easter egg. But before we get into the secret behind it all, I first have to explain what the teddy bear Easter egg is for those of you who don't actually know. So for the longest time in Call of Duty, they have hidden teddy bears throughout multiplayer maps, single player, and zombies as well. Now, throughout Call of Duty, the teddy bear easter egg has been in so many games that there's a lot of origin stories that simply aren't true. One of which is that it originated in zombies. A lot of people assume that the teddy bear easter egg began in zombies and that the teddy bear is actually Samantha's teddy bear. Now, this may actually be true in the zombie storyline that the teddy bear that pops out of the mystery box when it moves is Samantha's teddy bear. However, that is not where the teddy bear easter egg originated. Now, believe Believe it or not, the very first Call of Duty Easter egg to ever be found was in Call of Duty Finest Hour, one of the very first Call of Duty games. Now, in one of the missions called Underground Passage, you can find a teddy bear. Now, a lot of people just assume that this was an asset, something they put in the game. No one really thought much of it until Call of Duty 2. In Call of Duty 2, there was a firing range in which one of the things you could shoot at was a spike with teddy bears on it. Now, why teddy bears? Why was this a thing that the developers wanted to put into a game as an asset or more specifically as an Easter egg? Now, by the way, this isn't actually the big secret behind the teddy bear Easter egg. However, if you want the answer to why they would put teddy bears as an asset in a war video game, it's actually kind of dark. When soldiers go off to war, they often take memories of their family and friends. For example, a lot of people bring pictures of their family, things along those lines. But also, a lot of the time, soldiers bring cards comfort items. Comfort items can range from anything from your child's blanket, your wife's shirt, or even your child's teddy bear. And in a lot of the cases going into World War One and Two, one of the things a lot of soldiers would do who had children would bring their child's teddy bear, bring their child's blanket, and it would remind them of home. Hence, why soldiers would sometimes find teddy bears laying on the battlefield. Now, there were teddy bear easter eggs in both Call of Duty Finest Hour and Call of Duty 2. However, come Call of Duty 3, the first COD game that Treyarch actually worked on, the teddy bear was nowhere to be seen. Come Call of Duty 4, once again, the teddy bear easter egg appeared in a couple of different places, one of which was in a TV on the map Chinatown that you actually had to break open to find the teddy bear. But there was something big that changed between Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2. Now, what was that big thing? First of all, there was a lot more of the teddy bears. They were hidden on almost every single original map in Modern Warfare 2. And on top of that, it was a different teddy bear. No longer was it the disheveled teddy bear we were used to seeing that looked battered by war. It was a fresh, crisp teddy bear that had a star over its heart. Now, this is where the Easter egg of the teddy bear became really popular. People didn't know why these teddy bears were hidden about maps. Sometimes there was multiple of them on the same map, and all of which had a star over the heart. Now, why? That is the question, and that is the secret that we're answering in this video. Well, it's actually kind of sad. One of the Call of Duty developers at Infinity Ward, who was in charge of making maps in Modern Warfare 2 during the development of the game, had a daughter that actually passed away, a six-year-old daughter. And one of her favorite toys was the teddy bear. Now, this was actually never confirmed by a developer, but was later supported in Modern Warfare 3 when we saw the Easter egg once again on the map mission. Now, the interesting thing about this is that beside the teddy bear was a child's drawing, which almost looked like a tracing of a hand. On top of that, the star above the heart, I think, has more of a meaning than meets the eye. Now, this is just a theory, however, the whole idea of the star over the heart, I think, represents a lot more. I think it shows that whoever put this teddy bear in the game wants to show people that whoever this teddy bear belonged to will always be in his heart. It just kind of makes sense if you ask me. But if the evidence I've shown you ha is still not enough, there is one more thing I can show you. In a single player mission in Modern Warfare 3, on one of the walls there's a spray painted picture. It's a spray painted picture of a young girl in a dress holding something that you may recognize. If you look at her right hand, there is a teddy bear. Once again, symbolizing the young girl with her teddy bear. And for those of you who are going to say the girl on the wall is Samantha, 
this is not a Treyarch game. This is an Infinity Ward game, and the Zombies mode isn't in any of the Infinity Ward games. Now, I know this video got a little bit dark, but what I have to say is I really do think this is one of the coolest Easter eggs to ever be in Call of Duty. The whole backstory is awesome, and on top of that, it spans through many different Call of Duty games. Now, I'm curious what you guys have to say. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I also had another video idea called the evolution of the teddy bear easter egg. And what I'll do in that video is go through and find every single teddy bear easter egg in every Call of Duty game. And if that's something you want to see, let me know down in the comments. But more specifically, hit that like button. The more likes this video gets, the more likely I am to do the evolution of the teddy bear easter egg. I think it would be a really cool video idea. But guys, let me know what you think down in the comments comments if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like button if you're new to the channel and like what you see you can always hit that subscribe button as i upload new call of duty videos every single day of the week and guys thank you so much for watching and until next time peace out